safety at a particular railway crossing in West Springfield. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Stoddard is getting answers on their concerns and what officials are saying. The Memorial Avenue Railroad crossing in West Springfield is a focus of concern for unionized train conductors and engineers. On Thursday, members of Smart Local 352 pointed out that there is no railroad gate, minimal lighting, and little protection for workers. Western Mass News spoke with Christopher Tyrell, a legislative representative for the union, about how this impacts workers. The conductor has to get down, manually turn the lights on, stop traffic by stepping in the road and putting down road flares, then stepping aside to safety. He says the issues don't stop there. Next step in the equation is to call over the radio and tell the train to push these cars across the street. Now there's no gates, no protection. He explains how 33,000 gallons of propane being transported across the road can become a disaster. So it's for my safety of my membership, but also the city of West Springfield, trying to prevent a catastrophe from even a human fatality or a massive explosion. Western Mass News reached out to the railroad carrier company CSX for a comment and were told they hope the Highway Authority and Department of Transportation will make improvements to the area. Meanwhile, West Springfield Mayor William Reichelt tells us funding for better safety conditions should come from the state since it's a state project and state road. It would make the most sense if the state said we're going we're gonna to pay for it and fund it or getting CSX to pay for it. A diagnostic session will be held on September 25th by the Department of Public Utilities here at the Memorial Ave Railroad Crossing to evaluate the safety conditions. Reporting in West Springfield, Reagan Stoddard, Western Mass News.